On July 19, 1908, von Hanneken enlisted in the Koningin Augusta Guard Grenadier Regiment No. 4 as a farmrick after completing cadet school. Just over a year later, on August 19, 1909, he attained the rank of lieutenant. From October 1, 1913, until the outbreak of the Great War, he served in the Oldenburg Infantry Regiment No. 91. Following the commencement of the Great War, von Hanneken assumed the role of adjutant for the 3. Battalion of the 79th Reserve Infantry Regiment until January 3, 1915. Subsequently, he was reassigned to the 260th Reserve Infantry Regiment as the regiment's adjutant, and received a promotion to Oberleutnant on July 24, 1915. From July 10, 1916, he served as the leader of the regiment's machine gun company. After November 16, 1916, Von Hanneken temporarily took on the role of adjutant for the 37th Infantry Division until December 11, 1916, when he was transferred to the staff of the 78th Reserve Division. On April 17, 1917, Von Hanneken joined the Department of Foreign Armies, under the Chief of the General Staff of the Field Army. During this period, on July 15, 1918, he earned a promotion to Hauptmann. On August 15, 1918, von Hanneken was reassigned to the Operations Department of the Supreme Army Command, where he remained until September 24, 1918. Subsequently, he became a General Staff Officer for the 88th Infantry Division. In 1918, following the conclusion of World War I, von Hanneken was one of the officers who joined the German Reichswedger. Initially, he assumed a position in the Reichswedger Ministry for the following year. From 1924 to 1927, he served in the Reichswehr für Namt, Material Command. Starting in 1927, he led troops as a company commander, a role he continued until his promotion to major in 1930. Three years later, he achieved the rank of Oberst Lieutenant. By 1935, he had taken command of a regiment, leading to his promotion to Oberst. In 1936, he was reassigned to the Heerswaffenamt, Material Command, where he became the Chief of Staff. On July 3, 1937, he assumed responsibility for the purchase of iron and steel. On September 1, 1939, he was appointed Head of Section 2, Industrial, in the Ministry of Commerce. In 1940, he assumed the position of Vice Secretary of State. During the same year, he earned a promotion to the rank of General Lieutenant and in 1941, he advanced to the rank of General der Infanterie. Following the outbreak of World War II, von Hanneken faced challenges in the Iron and Steel Division due to a supply crisis. Only Hans Kerl could resolve the issues, as delivery times had significantly increased over two years. Von Hanneken had approved supplies beyond the capacity of iron and steel that could be delivered. While Hans Kerl did not disclose this in public records, his caseworker Arnold Koster did so. Kerl mentioned in his memoirs that von Hanneken lacked decisiveness and was conflict-averse. Von Hanneken was also tasked with addressing coal-related issues in the steel industry. On June 6, 1941, during the 11th meeting of the General Rat der Wirtschaft, he highlighted the problem of rising coal demand outpacing supply over the past four years. European countries dependent on German coal received only 60% of the claimed amounts. Starting in April 1941, domestic coal consumers faced a 10% reduction in supplies, leading to numerous business closures or reduced operations. Energy suppliers in Germany had to accept a 20% reduction in coal consumption. In March and April 1942, von Hanneken lost responsibility for the distribution of iron and steel, which was transferred to central planning. Consequently, he took a holiday in August 1942 and left Section 2 in October. On October 12, 1942, von Hanneken assumed the duties of Erich Ludke as the commander of the German forces in Denmark. He was responsible for defending against invasion and adopted a harsher stance against the Danish resistance movement, resulting in conflicts with Werner Best. On August 29, 1943, von Hanneken declared martial law in Denmark due to growing unrest, strikes, and sabotage. Simultaneously, the Danish army and navy were dissolved, and their personnel were interned. Von Hanneken was aware, 
but not directly involved in the action against Danish Jews led by Gunther Pank in early October 1943. On September 19, 1944, he reversed the dissolution of the Danish police. In January 1945, von Hanneken was relieved of his command, accused of corruption, and sentenced to eight years in prison by the German National Court Martial. However, Adolf Hitler pardoned him, leading to his demotion to major and deployment to the front. After the war, he became an American prisoner, later extradited to Denmark, where he awaited trial. On May 9, 1949, he was acquitted by the court, expelled from Denmark, and led a low-profile life until his death in 1981. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it. Your support is greatly appreciated, and you can find details on how to support my channels through PayPal and Patreon in the description box below.